Hi everybody, how are y'all doing on tonight? I am Frugal Lista Lupus Sister. I hope you all are doing great. I hope all of y'all had a fabulous Christmas holiday. If you celebrate, I hope you all enjoyed your family, shared and spent a lot of love with your friends, your family, just all about love and happiness. Um, I had a great Christmas. I spent it with my uh, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my niece came. Then my husband, kids, and I, we had dinner reservations um, later on that evening. So we went out for dinner, and then we came on back home. Been kind of busy lately with my family business, but overall, I am doing okay. Um, I have a little issue with my knees, but you know what? I keep trucking along, and I hope you all had a flare-up free day as well and also hope you all had enough energy to spend with your family on christmas that you you know no issues so just let me know how it went i would love to hear back from you um i have a video i had one of my sus subscribers had asked me if i could give them some encouraging words as to how i maintain my lupus what i do um to try to stay positive with my lupus and um, also to show you all like what's in my you see Luna back there what's in my pill Luna I'll show you all her later uh, what's in my show show you all my pill bottle well not bottle my pill case so I will show you that as well but first off I want to um, just give you all some information as to what I try to do, please excuse my background noise. My daughter, her friends just left, so she's still on cloud 100. So, but um, how I try to maintain, what I do to maintain uh, my health with my lupus, one thing for sure, I said this so many times, I try to remain stress free. I try not to get involved in, in any confrontation in confrontational situations because I'm not about a person to go back and forward or just to get stressed out. I try to reframe that as much as I can. Sometimes it is difficult to do, but I do my best to try to remain stress free. If I see something that's about to get started or that's gonna get me upset, I'm backing away. I try to diffuse the situation as much as I can and I also have self-love. When I mean self-love, I'm not saying that other people do not love themselves, but when I say self-love, I mean that I take care of myself. I make sure that I'm okay because if I'm okay, I'm doing well in my spirit, my mind, my body, and all over. I can be productive for my family. I can be a better wife, a better mom, a better daughter, sister, employee, whatever it is, I can be better at what I do. But I first have to love myself because when I was first diagnosed with lupus, I was working in a medical office. And every Tuesday, I would go to a different location because we have multiple locations. So I would travel to different um, locations on Tuesdays and Thursday. But on this particular, every Thursday, every Tuesday, I would always get sick or whenever I have to go to this location which would be Tuesday and Thursday whenever I have to go um, to this particular location I would get sick and the reason why that the environment was very stressful so I would get in anxieties and I just feel myself getting sick because I dreaded going to that location. I love my job. I'm, you know, I still work there with them, PRA, and they, you know, they have been really good to me. But by going to that location, I'll be stressed. So I, I had to step away from that job because it was stressful and it was making me sick. We were the office that I was, and we were attached to um, a hospital. I would get sick. I would go to the emergency room get um, some fluids, IV fluids, get some medication, then I'll go back to work because I'm dedicated at what I do because I enjoy helping people. So I'll be feeling sick. So I'll try to go over to the emergency room during lunch to get myself better and I'll go back to work. So with that being said, try to remain stressed. Do not let anything or anyone get you stressed out. 
because you are your number one priority. So try to remain stress-free. And I also, what I do, I go places for myself or by myself. When I say I go places, I go to the movies by myself or I go out for lunch or dinner by myself just to have some quality time to myself because that is important because I want to learn me. I want to know me. Um, you're never too old to learn yourself. So that's what I try to do. And during the summer months, I refrain from being out in the sun. Because if you catch me out in the summertime, you probably will see me with long sleeves on and a hat. Because I know with the sun, I've had on numerous occasions that if I am out in the sun that night, I will have fevers. I will be sick because I, I was out there in the sun. But try to, to relax. Stay stress-free because if you're all in a stressful situation, your body cannot heal itself of whatever going on. We know that lupus affect our heart. Different, very, very, you know, system of lupus, different type of lupus, lupus, what, discord lupus. It drug-induced lupus. If we are stressed, our body cannot heal itself. So we already have the issue with our heart. Mine would sometimes be my stomach. It can't heal itself. So I try to remain stress-free. So if anything, you know, get anything else from me, from my videos, please remain stress-free. If you can. I cannot stress that enough. Try to remain stress-free. Now let's get over and talk about my pill bottle and what's what well my pill bottle, my pill case, and what's in my pill case. So this is my little pill case. I hope it's not like flip backwards because I'm trying something new on my computer. But it says my pills. My mom got this for me when I first got sick because look, I have, I have a lot of pills here. So she got this for me. It's not that big. But it's enough to manage what I, the things that I have to take. So this is one thing that I have. My mom had gotten this for me. And I need to um, fill it back up. So I'm trying to tell you what I have here. Here is my... Ooh, trying to get... Gosh. Okay. This is my Duexis, which is my 800 milligram ibuprofen. And it also has some anti-acid medication in it so it would not irritate my stomach because I have to take up to three of them a day so this eight I just can't take 800 three times a day it really will irritate my stomach because I do have stomach ulcers too so this is my do excess this here is my um vitamin d here plaquenil <laughs> my plaquenil here is this is for my Okay, this, make sure I get it right. This is for my cholesterol. This is turmeric. See, kind of stain the, the, the container. This is my turmeric. This is for my stomach here. I can't think of the name of it. This is for my stomach. Here I have 81 milligrams of aspirin. Okay, this here is for my heart. It's Colcelin, C H O K L C I E N E. Colcelin. Well, this is for my heart. I take that for that because I, when I have like those like some pain, chest pain in my chest, my doctor said I have some scarring around my heart because I do have a little bit of fluid around my heart. So this is pretty much what I have um, to take. I think I'm missing one. I think I'm missing my cardizin, which is another medication for my uh, irregular heartbeat. But this is what I have. So this is Duexis, Vitamin D, Plaquenil, Cholesterol, heart medication, 81 milligrams of aspirin, my stomach mil my stomach medication, and my turmeric. Got to take that. And I also have here, I don't have them in a container, but I have... Um, these are magnesium. Take those too. The, it, it helps with my heartbeat, my regulation of my heart. And I have also, I have a patch, hormone replacement patch. 
Probably have that. Okay, you had a hormone lady. You know what I mean? So I had a hysterectomy back in 2000. So I have a hormone patch. So that's all that I have here in my little, my pill case. I also take this. This is... This is a, um, a pain, like a topical gel. I would put this on my knees um, because you know, I always complain about my knees. So my um, rheumatologist prescribed this for me. It helps a little bit, but I always um, wrap my legs up. So I don't know if it does or not, but I think it does. So I take this. This is um, a little bit that I use for my knees and steroids for my lungs um simple cord i get shortness of breath at, at time especially when i'm having a flare-up uh, i get shortness of breath so i use my simple cord mm -hmm. but that's about it guys that's all that i mainly i i take um i don't take too much yeah i know some of you out there take a lot and I know it can be difficult to maintain, but you guys take care. Just take a take good care of yourself and do what you can to maintain a healthier lifestyle. Because I know with lupus we struggle so much. And come here, Luna. Come here. Come here. Come on, Luna. I'm trying to show you all Luna, but let me see. Luna. Look. You're not gonna come to him hi? Huh? Come on, mama. Here she comes. Come on. Come on, baby. Hi. Hi, mama. You tell the guys and guys and girls hi. Say hi. He's a baby. She's our baby. You can tell them hi, mama. Oh, Luna has an Instagram page, too. She is Luna underscore Simone underscore poo p-o-o -O. so luna underscore simone underscore poo check her out on instagram y'all she's a baby that's on instagram you get to see her family which is us on there as well but you all stay great take care of yourself and do not do too much that's going to stress you out because we have to continue to fight so you guys take care much love to you all and i will talk with you all later bye